iPhones and smartphones are catnip for criminals. They're valuable, they're exposed, they're easy to steal. They are ripe for the picking. At $600 a pop, smartphones and iPhones cost about as much as a flat screen TV. But needless to say, they're much easier to steal. Not only that, but when a criminal steals a smartphone, they're not only stealing the actual device, costing the victim hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but they're stealing personal information like credit card account information, bank login information, and a host of other sensitive data. So by deactivating a cell phone with its unique IMEI number, we can put a really serious dent in this growing crime trend and disable not just the service to a stolen cell phone, which is what you do with the card now, but the device itself. That's what we're doing. Verizon already does it. Now many of our other companies will do the same. So today I'm announcing that I'm introducing legislation that would make it a federal crime for anyone to tamper or alter a cell phone's IMEI number. Right now it's not an explicit federal crime. You tamper with the number, it's not on the federal law books. It will be. If a phone is stolen, reported to the database and deactivated, and then someone attempts to alter, change, or tamper with that number, they could face criminal penalties of up to five years. It worked for the VIN number, and it'll work for the cell phone ID number. If you steal a cell phone, it'll be a worthless endeavor. And if you try to sell a stolen phone, you'll be caught. 